are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about the NHL. Everybody knows about the tragic death of former NHL player Adam Johnson, who actually had his uh, throat slashed by the skate of another player over in the UK. He pretty much just bled out and he passed away. Pretty tragic. But we had another incident that actually happened on Wednesday. Nobody's really been talking about this. I'm somewhat surprised, you know, in light of what actually happened to Adam Johnson. In this case, the player that actually got a cut, it wasn't his throat. I believe it was actually his uh, quadricep and it actually happened by um, his own teammate. Uh, let's go over here to um, the daily uh, caller here. Seattle Kraken's Jordan Eberle hospitalized after taking deep slash from skate blade. How deep was it? I tried to look and see um, how bad it is. I really don't know. But this happened on Wednesday and they had a game uh, yesterday and he did not actually participate in that game. Now, you may be thinking, hey. Just a leg, man. You can actually um die if you actually get a slashing leg because we know when people um get uh, shot by bullets, there's certain arteries where you can actually bleed out. How deep was the cut? I really don't have any idea. But it says here, Jordan Eberle, who is a winger for the Seattle Kraken, was hospitalized Wednesday after a teammate skate inflicted a deep slash to his leg during practice. According to the team, Seattle general manager Ron Francis spoke with the Seattle Times, explaining that the 33 year old Eberly underwent testing after being taken to a hospital. Eberly suffered the injury after his teammate, uh, Jaden Swartz, stepped on a puck and lost his balance per the outlet. Now, I'm wondering, you know, if his like leg kicked up or something like that. Not really sure, but we have seen. In, in multiple videos, not just the uh, Adam Johnson situation where if you lose your balance, yes, your leg can actually kick up and it could actually cause some damage if your body comes in contact with a skate. Um, in this case right here, his teammate stepped on a puck, lost his balance and end up slashing um, him in the uh, in a leg. Um, it says here, quote, they're doing an MRI to see if he. Uh, got to the tendon. So I don't know enough yet. Francis told the Seattle Times. It wasn't a gushing, but it was a deep cut. So they've taken him to a hospital and they're doing an MRI. So at least that's a good thing. I was kind of worried about a lot of blood. So it doesn't look like um, there was a lot of blood here. Uh, but um, cracking coach um, Dave uh, Hastel doesn't get into specifics but seems to confirm that Jordan Everly escaped a worst case scenario injury from the skate blade on Wednesday. Um, he says that Everly is a day to day right now. Uh, so still don't really know. This was actually from uh, November 9th and today is obviously um, November the 12th. Uh, the Kraken recall forward on uh, Shane Wright 19 from the AHL to replace Everly. And it appears Wright will be playing against the Colorado Avalanche on Thursday according to Fox News. Uh, quote, I think we dodged a bullet, said Francis, per the outlet, but he's going to be pretty sore tomorrow. Since the death of Ed's Pittsburgh's Penguin star Adam Johnson, blade injuries have been under a bright spotlight in the world of hockey. Johnson died on October 28 during an English Ice Hockey Association game after opposing player Matt Pepgrade skate sliced his neck and uh, Rose did do um, some videos on um, a video. I should actually say on um, NHL teams actually um, trying to implement um, net guards. Players are actually using them, not all players, you know, it's not a requirement or anything like that, but man, I'm wondering now if these injuries, you know, are just going to pop up more often or was this just a coincidence? Probably a coincidence here, but I'm wondering, man, how many injuries um, from skate blades actually do happen in the NHL, but nobody ever talks about it. Could be a bit more common um, than we know. 
you know, like a regular, um, you know, cut from a blade. Nobody probably actually talks about that. But in light of uh, Adam uh, Johnson uh, dying, you know, it's out there in the media right now. But as of right now, you can see here, uh, Kraken's uh, Jordan Eberle won't return Saturday. So he's been out for quite a bit. So it says he's going to miss his second straight game, which he already did because this is actually um, happened on yesterday. So, man, that is all the details we actually have on this, man. Um, hopefully there isn't any more incidents with skate blades and hockey. But this seems to be the second one in a matter of weeks. And in my last video, I was actually um, talking about two other incidents where players actually had the blade connect with their neck. Uh, in both cases, both of the players actually live. In my video, I only did one. I believe that was from like 2008. Where a player actually ended up, his leg ended up kicking up. He ran to another player and it hit his teammate right in the throat. Um, he survived, but it was directly in the neck, man. But other than that, I can't think of any other incidents, you know, with skate blades. Like I'm said, like I said, man, nobody had died, I believe, up until this point with um Adam Johnson. So now that's just um heightened awareness. But um I'm glad that um that this player here, uh Jordan Eberly, is gonna be okay. I mean, they said it could have been worse. He escaped a much worse scenario here. Don't want anybody to actually uh, lose their lives. So I'm glad that he's okay. I'm that's talking about a deep gash slash. Man, never played hockey. Hockey's not my thing. And I don't re even really roller skate because um I don't have that kind of balance. So especially being on on blades, ice hockey. Yeah, not my thing. But I'm just glad that this uh, player is OK. But if you guys can think of any other incidents, you know, where players have just been cut, not necessarily, you know, slashing the neck. Routine cuts during games and stuff like that. Let us know down in the comments. How common is this? But this one here was a bit more serious, but not um, tragic, at least. So but that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.